Alright, now let's finish off the roof and if you take a look up here we have uh, some dips on the top of the roof. I uh, took, I watched a video on YouTube and I noticed there were six of, six of them on the roof, okay? There's uh, one on each side of the, uh, what do you call it, the skylight or whatever the name was. I don't know the name so I'll just call it a skylight. So the skylight right in the middle here, okay? There's one of each of these lines on its sides, like that, and there's four behind it. So that's what we're going to make right now. But first, let's create the skylight or whatever that is. So I think I'm going to put it around here to this side. So all of these sides here is going to be it, like that. And uh, let me see. So I'm just going to press I to insert the faces like that. I want to bring this up and enable boundary so it, it, it continues all the way to that side like that. So let's minimize this. Let's insert this again to about somewhere here like that. And we're going to pull it up a little bit because if you take a look at the mirror you can see it, it sort of flattens out over here. So I'm just going to pull it up a little bit like this. So just a little bit like that. I don't know. I think that might actually have affected this one. So let me go into wireframe. No, let me undo that. I want to deselect all of this. And let me just pull it up a tiny bit like that. Deselect this. And let's pull this up just a tiny bit like that. So I want to take this one, hold control and shift to select all of that. And what I want to do now is I want to delete the faces. Should I delete it? No, let's not delete it yet. Here's what we're going to do. Let's take all of these. And let's press V to separate it like that. So I think that was better separating it was the best so now I'm going to take all of these and let's hide it let's take this one and let's pull it down the whole thing and just press period and change the pivoting point to boundary box I'm going to pull this down in the z axis just a little bit like that I don't know if that was good you know what before we do these things let me just undo this real quick okay so here's what I'm going to do just undo everything we just did I'm going to take this, this roof over here, I'm going to press Shift and D, like this. I'm going to rename that to, I don't know, maybe back up, like this. Just in case we mess up on, uh, along the way, we will have something to come back to in case we want to start over again. So I'm going to create a new collection. Let me see. I'm going to press M, say new collection. I'm going to call it backups, like that. I'm going to click OK. So now it's in the backups. We can hide that to hide it. So now it's it's hidden now. We have a, a backup we can come back to in case we do anything wrong. So let's go in here and let's do this again. So I'm going to take all of these. Press I. We'll insert it like that. And let me see. Boundary box. So with that done, I'm just going to select these ones here. And press V to separate it like that. And now I'm going to take all of this and hide it. Alright, so that is looking great. I'm going to press Alt and H. I'll take all these and I'm going to scale it down just a little bit like that. Maybe a little more like that. Alright, that is looking much, much better. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to take all of these. Let me just press E and then Z. Pull it down. Let me move it down a little bit more. So just move it down a little bit more. Yeah, that is looking much better. I want to press Ctrl and R through here. Press E to align it with that side and move that side also in a little bit like that. So that is looking good so far. I want to do the same thing with this one. So I want to take all of the exterior, I mean the very ends of it like that. I want to press E and then Z. Pull this down to over here. Now let me just press Ctrl and R. Let me just zoom in to make sure that I'm placing it in the right place. So Ctrl and R through here. And should I leave it in the middle? No, let's pull it up to about here. I want to hide that. I want to take all of these and press I to insert the faces like this to here and insert it one more time. Now press Alt and H to bring everything back. And you can see what we have. It is looking good. 
Alright, now to do the lines that are in the... Uh, let's first of all do the ones on the side, okay? So we're going to do that with these vertices here. Now, you know what? I think we should add in a shrink wrap. So let's go in here and let's... Let me see. Let me minimize this. I want to add in a shrink wrap. So now you can see we were we were very smart to have backed up our roof because now we can use it as a shrink wrap guide. So let me just click over here. Now. We're going to find the roof backup. And load it in. So what we're gonna do now? Let's go into, let's go down here, go into edit mode. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna to, we're going to select the very ends of these pieces here. And we're gonna press Control and plus until let's deselect this one. And press Control and minus again to deselect the ones at the very top. So let's go into the object data buttons, add in a new group, and click on assign. No, not assign. Remove. Okay, and press Ctrl and I and click on the side. So let's go in here and load in the group like that. So that is looking good. Uh, let's take the very ones here as well. Okay, let's remove them from the group as well. So just click on remove. Why is it doing that? Um, I don't know why that is happening, but it's not good. Let me just press Ctrl and plus again. Let's remove that one as well. Let's see. Okay, now good. Remove. Okay, so just get rid of all of the all of these ones. Just remove all of them from the vertex group, like that. And now let's get over here. Let's take all of these and let's create the very first dips on the sides. The yeah, the dips on the sides. So let me see. We have four more in the middle here. How many edge loops do we have here? I think one, two, three, four. Is that good enough? No, we have four in the middle, okay? So that means we need two on this side because we're mirroring it, and that, that will be four if we move it on the other side. So if we, if we leave one edge loop in the middle of each of them, so we have one here, leave an edge loop, take the other, leave an edge loop, take the other, leave an edge loop, then the next one follows in the mirror like that. So I think that will be best. All right, so let's begin with this one. Oh, let's do it to all of them at once. Now, I think this one ends about here. Now, before we actually move on, let's get over here, okay? I'm going to press Ctrl and R through here. I'm going to leave it in the middle. I'm going to take all of these here to the bottom. Um, just get out, take this again, come in here. I'm going to take all of these to the bottom. I'm going to move it down in the Z axis, like that. Okay, so it seems we have to do it to the, to the, um, what do you call it? The, let's unhide the, back up this one so we'll take that one we'll also take the actual mesh we were just editing and go into edit mode like this so we're going to add an edge loop to that one as well and now we're going to take all of them so now we have both objects selected okay we're in the edit mode of both of them and we're working on both of them because of the shrink wrap they need to be the same so that is what i'm doing so i'm going to pull this down now to here and just zoom in real quick i'm going to pull it in these axes outwards to there, like that. Let me just pull it inwards a little bit. Okay, hold on. We shouldn't have moved these ones. Let's not move these ones, okay? Let's keep them there. So let's just move these ones. Like that, a little bit more. A little bit more down. Yeah. So that is looking much, much better. So let's hide that again. Let's hide the roof back up. So now it's hidden again. Let's go into edit mode now. I'm just going to take this one and that one and that one. So all we're going to do now is to press Ctrl and B, but we don't want to do that to these sides. So what we're going to do is, let me see, it's, okay, let's add it to this point. These like this, all the way to that point, all right? So let's press Ctrl and B. It's not that big of a uh, it's not that big of a uh, a dip, so I think that is is that about good. Let me try again. Let's give it a little bit of a thickness. So I think this should be about good. Yeah, that should be good. Now let's get over here. We have two vertices here now, so I'm going to take this one and then the one at the end there at last. Press Alt and M and merge at last. So I'm going to do the same thing over here. Just take this one. Just take this one and then that one, press shift and R to repeat it, and that merges it at the last, like that. 
So with that done, what we're gonna do now is to I think the 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 dips hen the dips that we have on the roof here they end right around this area or we'll end them right up here. Okay, so we'll end them over here instead. So let's go into face select mode. We're gonna select this this face right here. I wanna select it all the way to here. And I'm gonna select these this one right here. All the way to here and finally that one all the way to no all the way to here. Nice. So what I'm gonna do now is we're going to insert the face just a little bit like that. And just insert it a little bit more. Oh no, first of all let's insert it just a tiny bit like that. And now I'm gonna insert it even more like this. I'm gonna press G and then Z and pull this down. We're gonna remove it from the vertex group so remove like that. So you can see that is looking great, but we're still not done yet. So I'm just going here. Alright, so that is looking good. All that we're going to do now is to, let me see, if we add in, okay, it won't cause any problem because we have shrink wraps enabled. So just add it in like that and deselect this ones. I'm going to press G twice and slide this back to about here. Alright, like that. That is looking great. I'm going to pull it back just a little bit. I'm going to take this one slide it all the way to here and slide this back here. Alright, that is looking good. So we're gonna do the same thing on these sides over here. Here and here. So I'm just getting here, deselect all of these, press E twice, and slide it back to about here. Take this one and slide it back just a little bit. Alright, so that is looking great. I'm gonna do the final one over here. I'm just deselect this, press G twice. Oh no. That is affecting this side. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna take these two. Oh, let me take these two instead. And press J. And I'm gonna take all of these and dissolve the edges. Nice. So all I'm gonna do now is take all of these, these like this one. I'm gonna press G twice and slide this close to it, like that. I'm just going to wire frame these like this. And let's bring this back to the middle, to about here. All right, that is looking great. I'm gonna put one more in the middle here, you know, just to balance things out. Oh, I'll just get rid of it. Doesn't really matter. No, I'll put it in there, like that. Yeah. So with that done, let's bring back the backup, the roof backup. Okay. So we're gonna take the roof backup. Let me go into wireframe. I'm gonna increase its uh, subdivision surface resolution to four, like that. Okay, so with that done, we're gonna we're gonna hide it again. So let's just hide it again. All right. So that is looking good. Our roof is basically complete. So yeah, there's nothing more to do. In the next video, we'll be moving on to creating the other parts. I'm pretty sure we'll be creating the flares of the fender, each of the fenders, and then we'll move on to the side skirt over here or whatever is it a side step whatever that is and in that order we'll just keep going and finish everything off alright so I'll see you guys in the next video